As a famous statesman once said, when I want to call Europe, who do I call? And now, since this letter to the New York Times, Europe is like, who do I call when I want to talk to the real president? Now in Europe, we've got two of everything. Two presidents, two homes for the EU parliament, and at least two guys who are real life Trumps. But now in America, there are two Trump presidencies. One of Trump the impetuous, and one of the Trump resistance, those who have vowed to thwart parts of his agenda and his worst inclinations. The inner White House Trump resistance. Now, of course, Trump hates being compared to a Nazi, but he sure is ready to lash out at someone like the SS did to the resistance. So for all of us who have been worried about Trump's misguided impulses and worst inclinations, good news. It turns out America is actually being run by an unelected, unaccountable secret society. <laughs> That's much better. Early reports are that the author of the anonymous letter is Frank Underwood. In fact, speaking of Kevin Spacey, based on Donald Trump's own sexual conduct, Donald himself is now being edited out of the Trump presidency and he will be replaced by Christopher Plummer. The list keeps growing of people in the White House who say it wasn't them. Pence, DeVos, Huckabee Sanders. Interestingly, this list does not include Chief of Staff John F. Kelly. And don't forget, the F is for facepalm. In America, as the media continues to spin and speculate, in Brussels, they've put their best man on the job. Not Tusk or Juncker, but Hercule Poirot, who has concluded, much like at the end of Murder on the Orient Express, they all did it. It's the version of The Apprentice where everyone on the show teams up to fire the boss. The ratings are gonna be the best. Newsroom, it's a newsroom. Listen to the sound of the newsroom. Anything can happen in a newsroom. News, 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 news.